we want to lay the groundwork for what we are going to present to you today by going to the root of the matter. The root of the matter uh, is sin, obviously. But as it concerns the professing pastor, and when I shoot these videos and I refer to someone as a pastor or bishop, this isn't me confirming that they are in fact that on behalf of the Lord. That's what they call themselves. But the Bible tells us that a good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. And as, as it concerns the subject matter of today's lesson, which is Chris Hill, pastor of the Potter's House of Denver, we need to lay the groundwork for kind of where he comes from and why what you're going to see to those whose hearts are turned to the Lord Jesus anyway why it is so utterly blasphemous and outrageous. Chris Hill uh, was a youth pastor for T.D. Jakes at the Potter's House in Texas. So, and you know, all over and over and over, he's referred to as a T.D. Jakes protege, more like a boy toy. We'll talk about that another time though. So the, there was a, uh, professing church here called Heritage Christian Center here in Denver, Colorado. And the bishop at that time, his name was Dennis Leonard. Well, Dennis Leonard, it seems, got into a lot of financial trouble from his hustling ways. And uh, he needed money. He needed out of that place. And so T.D. Jakes comes along and they buy the Potter's House. Well, they buy Heritage Christian Center and rebranded the Potter's House. Jakes puts his, Jakes puts his boy toy or his protege in there who is pastor chris hill who is a current pastor now on the purchasing of uh, on the purchasing of the this building uh, and rebranding at the potter's house they are being very tight-lipped on how much that was and even lying and saying no money exchanged hands which is a total fabrication and a total i just tells you where these people are coming from so some time ago i came across the video on YouTube and it was of Pastor Chris Hill who put together this huge production of Michael Jackson's thriller video put this production on in the church played this music in the church had people dressed up like dead zomp, z uh, zombie demons in the church in this church and he attempted to correlate e Ezekiel's vision in Ezekiel chapter 37 it's called uh, the Valley of Vision or the Valley of Dry Bones. And he uh, he compared the zombies, the demonic zombies who got who who were walking around with eyes falling out and skin falling out with Ezekiel chapter 37 which is a va which was a vision of dry bones that Ezekiel was given but it was a it was a vision of Israel rising from being nothing or rising from the dead as a nation and as a people. So with that said, we want you to first understand who T.D. Jakes is. Now, listen to me, you fans and followers of his, listen to me. You really need to watch this through because your life depends on it, literally. What we're going to do, does T.D. Jakes believe that Jesus is the only way to heaven is a question. Does T.D. Jakes believe in witnessing about uh, the, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus to those that uh, the Apostle Paul refers to uh, as those without or those without eternal life? Listen to this clip. And this is Annette. Annette with us from Portland, Oregon. Yes, hi, thanks for taking my call. Sure. Um, I'm a Muslim here in Portland. I'm part of a Shiite community. And we had a wonderful interface dialogue last weekend with a local Unitarian church. And I'd like to ask you, please, to speak about concrete experiences you've had uh, as far as interface dialogue goes. And also, I'd like to ask you, do you feel that only Christians uh, can hope to enter heaven? Very great question. When it comes to uh, interfaith experiences, I'm currently serving uh, by the appointment of President, former President Bush and President Clinton as co-chair of an interfaith advisory committee to help uh, people get back up on their feet. 
And we uh, do have on the board Muslims, Catholics, uh, um, a Jewish rabbi, Baptist, Methodist, Pentecostal across the board. And we're working together very effectively because we all care about common goals. Uh, we have our distinct theologies and our own ideologies, but there are common grounds that we can work together very effectively in many, many cases. When it comes to heaven, I try to leave that up to God. I certainly believe that Christianity is right, but when it comes down to the final test, uh, who goes and who doesn't go, Jesus said, other sheep have I who are not of this fold, them also must I bring. I let him identify who those sheep are and I stay out of the conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks for that. I bet you've heard that clip. So many times people teach that Peter denied Jesus three times, and he did, and Jesus said Peter would do that. But the good news is Peter recovered and went on to become a mighty warrior uh, for his Lord and Savior and my Lord and Savior. Three times in that short audio clip, was, a, was uh, which was an uh, NPR radio interview that T.D. Jakes did in 2006, he denied Christ. And you know what? Rewind it. Listen to it. I'm not going to really go into the particulars of that. You heard it out of his own mouth. He does not believe Jesus is the only way to heaven. But it gets worse. And remember, we're laying the groundwork here for the vomit or the uh, uh, false apostle of hell who came out of Jake's tutelage and took over the Potter's House here in Denver, Colorado. So with that said, we want you to understand that not only does Jake's not believe in Jesus, he's now partnered with a woman who has openly said Jesus was not the only way, despite the word that says, Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the light. No one comes to the Father but by me. Jesus told, uh, when he was talking to the Pharisee Nicodemus, he said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Now, J Jakes is a professing preacher of the gospel of Jesus, but yet he does not believe it. The Bible further says, he who hath the son, Jesus, has life, and he who has not the son hath not life. And the Bible also said, asks this question, who is Antichrist? But he who denies that Jesus is Christ. This is what the Bible says. So Oprah, in this next clip that we are going to show you, openly contends that Jesus is the only way. This isn't to mention her worldwide false evangelism church, whose membership is reported to be 50,000 people listening to her. Listen to this clip of Oprah Winfrey and remember what T.D. Jakes, what you just heard him say. Now that you've heard that, <laughs> you've heard T.D. Jakes deny Christ three times, and he's a professing bishop or, or leader of the flock. You've heard Oprah Winfrey, and I ain't here to harp on Oprah. The Bible says the world does what is natural to them because they don't know any better, because she's of the world, whatever. But Jakes is partnering with Oprah Winfrey for this new life, this new life class is what it's called. And I, I tried to listen to some of them, but I only got to through a couple of minutes of them because they are so vomit laced. Now, also in this next clip, what you are going to hear is Oprah Winfrey giving T.D. Jakes a whole bunch of false flattery. And not only that, you are also going to hear T.D. Jakes call Jesus Pretty much a piece of toilet paper. Listen to this. The Lord sent me here to feed somebody this morning. Hallelujah. I've been hand selected. I've been divinely picked. I've been Holy Ghost anointed. I've been designated for the assignment. God, I will not fail you. I think that Jesus is the product. If Jesus is the product, then Bishop T.D. Jakes is one of the Lord's top salesmen. The spirituality and the forces of God but I also believe that there are two forces that are here with us that we do have our, our our God that we can depend on but there's also a power of darkness that we do need to be aware of one of the mistakes that human beings make is believing that there is only one way 
to yeah, live and right. that we don't accept that there are diverse ways of being in the world that there are millions of ways to be a then human how do being you please God? And, and many ways no but many paths many to what you call God that and is her path crazy. might be something else and when she gets there she might call it the light but her loving and her kindness and her generosity brings her, if it brings her to the same point that it brings you, it doesn't matter whether she called it God along the way or not. And I guess the danger that could be on that, I mean, it's, it sounds great on the onset, but if you really look at both sides, I there could possibly be just one way. What, what about Jesus? What about Jesus? only one way. There is one way and only one way and there that is through Jesus. Jesus. There couldn't possibly be with because a million you of people say there, there isn't. There couldn't possibly be. Because you say, you intellectualize it and say there isn't. If no. you don't believe that, you're all buying into the lie. And if you can realize that, then you make sense out of the pain then you justify the pain and you start saying you know what it was good for me that i went through that i'm i'm glad you didn't stand by me i'm glad you left me i found my way because you i was watching you and although tremendously moving for me this sermon was and the service was i could also observe your your power and control here the eyes of the church have closed the heads of mouth I mean, you are the master of this thing. You are running this thing. Yeah, make no mistake about it. Who is in charge? 